VK3CKL. <coughs> VK3C is shame. VK3CKL. Planning some operating portable with a kite, a long wire and 160 meters AM. I had this kite for some time, but when I initially tried it, I wasn't successful. The kite hardly stayed up and kept diving to the ground. The difference between a kite that would drop down and one that would stay up a reasonable time is how the bottom of the kite was tied off to the string. Here I needed to make the front bit about 15 centimetres shorter than was supplied. That allowed the front bit to catch some air and provide the lift needed to support the kite. The wire I'm using for the antenna is just thin insulated hookup wire. I'll allow a couple of metres of string and then I'll tie the antenna wire to that. I get everything. Well this is the station, the metal structure on the right is what I'm using as the ground. Yep, definitely inadequate for 160 metres. The antenna is not far off being a full-sized vertical quarter wave, so probably better than average. This is the kite string, and separate, here's the antenna wire. Okay, it seems to be working. Anybody else? I have so far on my list. Peter, Yankee Echo, Laurie, Sierra, Julian, uh, Steve HK, John DQ, Kevin uh, CKL, anyone else? 30 metres of wire and fed, almost completely vertical at the moment. 10 watts from Bicentenary Park. Um, yeah, 20 over 9, Peter, 5 and 20 dBs over 9. Peter, outstanding signal. Yeah, you're 5 over 9 here with me, Peter, in Emerald. 20 dB over 9 into Fern Tree Gully, Peter. Your signal is rocketing in. Uh, your audio is quite good too. Uh, no problem whatsoever there. Uh, getting uh, quite a reasonably good signal here. But as I said, I'll just lose you completely sometime. SJ. Very, very strong, Peter, when the signal is up. And I presume when the, um, the antenna is most vertical. <coughs> Your signal has peaked up to 30, 30 dB over 9. A fluctuation when the uh, the kite moves around a bit, but uh, there's certainly a darn good uh, a darn good effort. Depending on what sort it is, they can take a, a sudden left or right hand turn and crash in. The, uh, the message I got on the uh, the local repeater was my assistance would be needed. Uh, Whether I get back again, I don't know, but we'll uh, give it a go. Um, yeah, another warning. So, anyway, I've got to go out to <laughs> meet Gene out the front, so it's over to you, Kevin. VK3 CKL to transmit VK3 DQ. About, uh, I think, 10 to 15 over 9 on peaks here. G'day, everyone. VK3 CKL and uh, the 160 meter mod, VK3 Charlie, Sierra, Juliet. G'day to you, Peter. And, uh, that's a mightily good signal coming from you. You're, you're 30 over five, 35 over 9. Now, the distances from uh, Bicentennial Park. Laurie, 55 kilometres. Eric, 38. Me, that's moi, 22. Clint, 16. Kevin, uh, 12. Uh, I didn't do John because I don't know whether he's there or not, but John would be about the same as me, 22. Uh, and I think that's all that we've got on. Now, how could I have done this better? Probably if I let out more string for the kite support string and had the radio directly underneath the kite. How could I have done this better? Probably if I had the kite string, how could I have done this better? Possibly if I left out, how could I have done this better? Possibly if I let out more kite string and had the radio just on this bench, so it was directly under the kite. That would have allowed the antenna radiating element to be more near a vertical, rather than the bottom bit parallel to the ground. VK3YE, 
disappears altogether. Uh, with the kite going up and down, I've been listening for a while. 20 watts into a improvised antenna um, in Geelong. Um, so I just thought I'd come up to give you a report. I can hear all the other stations too, like Eric and Laurie and whatever, but um, yours is the strongest and then Clint's the next strongest in Geelong. And it's pretty much straight across the bay. Very strong here, very good. Uh, best I've heard you apart from when you're in Kunang Park. I heard you on the uh, Toshiba uh, dual a triple band radio, which has got 160 on it, and um, <clears throat> yeah, not overwhelmingly strong, but uh, quite listenable on just a uh, handheld radio out in the yard with no uh, external antennas, so uh, that's quite good. A VK3 wire portable VK3 BIG made a little um, wave file recording a few, of a few seconds of your transmission. If you're interested, I can email it to you. The uh, wind has been fairly turbulent about 10 or 15 minutes ago. There were about three or four times where it was a successful outing and stations of up to 60 kilometres distant could hear my signal, in some occasions on a small transistor radio. The main challenge was keeping the kite aloft. Unless yours is more stable than mine, then a second person would be useful to keep the station on the air. Oh lovely, as, as I said, please uh, pass my regards on to Brian. I want to say to this gentleman. Oh, thank you.